my name is Linda Bowen. I'm a wildlife rehabilitator. I'm licensed by Connecticut DEP and also by U.S. Fish and Wildlife. I specialize in waterfowl and bats. Woohoo! We're going to be releasing today uh, 10 wood ducks and two hooded mergansers that we've raised. Uh, the two hooded mergansers came in together as orphans. The wood ducks probably came uh, probably in about six different groups. So we have a variety of ages going from about eight weeks to about 12 weeks. Uh, they formed a very, very tight flock though. And so that's why we're releasing them all together. Some of the birds are not fully flighted yet because the theory is uh, since wood ducks are very, very uh, easily stressed, we don't want them to be released and get startled and fly off willy-nilly in all different directions. So the uh, many rehabilitators will release the birds just prior to them being flighted so that we can release them. You, you have to select the habitat very carefully to make sure it's appropriate for them. And then when you release them, they have to get adjusted to this habitat, which is good for them. And by doing that, they reduce their stress levels, get adapted to being out in the wild, hunting for food on their own. And then as they're adjusted and acclimating to being out in the wild, then they start uh, getting ready to fly. And then as they're more adjusted, their stress levels are lower, they're used to being outside, then they will probably leave more as a flock and just not fly over them. So the site that we've chosen for Linda's release is here at Cemetery Pond at White Memorial. And um, this is a very um, lively little pond that probably has everything that these birds need to survive. Um, obviously there's a lot of traffic around it and they need to be aware of that. So they're going to learn a little bit about humans and all the noise and ruckus we make. Um, we have a snapping turtle, a big one here in this pond. Uh, there is one nasty mute swan that they're going to have to learn to deal with who we're very grateful doesn't have um, any uh, mate and any young. And also there's quite a bit of wood duck uh, activity out on this little pond. So um, we've chosen Cemetery Pond as really a place that we think they'll really um, flourish and, and do really well once they're released. I'd like to introduce Betty Scoville, who is my intern this year. Betty is hoping to uh, get her federal permit to rehabilitate birds. Say hallelujah, Betty. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> she was instrumental in helping me raise these hooded mergansers, so she is going to have the opportunity to release them uh, as hopefully, well, actually, this is our second release. We actually released some mallards already. So uh, this will be, um, these will be the first hoodies, though, that we've released. Enjoy it, guys. <laughs> Goodbye. See you in the duck boxes next year. Beautiful. Yeah, let's <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, yeah, let's try the try 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 the opener. So these are the wood ducks, four of the ten. Yeah, right. Eight. Right there. There's other ones in there somewhere. <coughs> 
Look at him. Yeah. Look what I can do. Here he comes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can go all the way over there. There you go. Yeah. Look that up. There are some bass out there still. And where did they where did the big group go? They just swam they went straight into the cattails. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Right some of the others that, that figures. Yeah.